Welcome back. Been a while. Get some more done. So like I said, it's been a little while, um, been a little while since I had a video out. To be fair, the last two weeks I've been pulling um, pulling Harry apart and getting rid of him, got him scrapped, um, took away the scrapper, made some good money on him. Uh, I still have quite a few bits to sell, uh, if anybody's interested in any bits of it, suspension and brakes mainly. Or panels, just hit us up, give us a shout, and I'll uh, see what we can do, we'll work something out. Um, so, yeah, still got some bits off that to do. However, I made the decision to keep this bad boy full package. Still got all the ECU, everything, absolutely everything I need to bolt that into another car. Big question is, though, what car do I bolt it into? I don't, want, I don't think it's. Would be fair to this to bolt it at least to be honest this i feel as though wants to keep the red top in it and um, wants a red top in it so i think i'm probably still red top in this however do have another vehicle at home another nova at home aka the hot rod and i had thought about putting it in that but it wasn't really what i had planned for that one so i don't know anyway and um, drop a comment down below let us know what you're thinking about whether you think it's a good idea i should do it or whether you think it's a bad idea i should well i think i should just man up cut the crap and stick stick the k20 in here see what happens i don't know i think this thing will shift well with the one of them in anyway it's not the story for the day story for the day we will think what we're going to do i think what we're going to do for the day is i think we're going to get the panel put on this, get the piece in there, and all going to plan, fingers crossed, I would like to have the sill on. And then, and then that'll be this side done. Quick lash over our primer, done, roll it over, start the other side. So we'll get on, we'll get that back piece trimmed up, ready to go, and get it bashed on, stuck together. What's the worst that can happen? bit more of a gap there than I really wanted to have but we'll work around that but that's a nice tight gap all the way around them but it's here pretty happy with that what I'll do once it's welded in and I've spotted the rear arch here I'll just take the cut off tool and I'll just cut basically cut that shape out there to get rid of the, what's not needed on the inner I'll treat you to get a good shot here I'll just cut off what's not needed on the inner arch here like this bit here um, and that should hopefully give us give us the good shape. So what I'll do is I'll take it off now. Take the piece, take all the clamps back off, all the clamps back off, and uh, I'll clean the edges up, get them ready to weld on. We'll get it tacked on, get it welded up. What I'll do is obviously as I'm as I'm welding it, there's some discrepancies in in the height here and there. All I'll do is just just push and pull and just manipulate it into shape. But I think that's a pretty Pretty happy with how that's gonna come out, I think. See how we get on. There we are. As I said, so a couple of tacks on the bottom. All I need to do now is hold on, I'll get the light. All I need to do now is basically just follow them spots all the way around. See, I've got a bit bigger gap there than what I intended on having, but I'm sure I can, I can work with that somehow. Just follow them around. Then, why I say once that's done, what I'll do is I'll cut. Hold on, yeah, I'll just cut down that line around that line so that it it finishes it off. Um, got a bit of a gap in the bottom there. 
bit of a gap in the bottom there but if need be if I'm not, not happy with it once I've because I've still got to knock this up over here if I'm not happy with that gap at the bottom then all I'll do is just fill it in with a little plate um, so yeah so all I'm going to do like I say is just follow the just chase the spots around seam weld it all the way around but all in all I'm pretty happy with the shape of that I think that's I'm happy with the shape of it and it's nice and solid again that's welded in just need to dress that back said that hole wouldn't be a problem to fill just need to literally dress that back now and hopefully you'd never even know it's been done as I say once it's done and I dress it back I'm going to cut this this edge off here um, so bring it back to where it should be and then we'll see how we go from there there we go I'm no panel beater or body shop man by any means, but I'm pretty damn happy with that if I do say so myself. As I said, just trim away the inside there where it's not needed. Yeah, little skimmer filler on that color that corner, I'd be all right. I know it's behind the bumper, but um, again, as a bit of a running theme, I'll know it's there, you know what I mean? Um, what I've the other thing I've done as well is I've put a, a tack in there and I've put a couple of tacks in underneath as well and that weren't originally on it so we've got like four tacks up here and another three tacks down there and along there um, yeah pretty damn happy with that I may take that down at ooh, ah, it's, the, <coughs> it's still warm I may take that down at <coughs> <coughs> sorry <coughs> I may take that down just a little bit more. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be a little bit better and not take too much off, because I find that's where I'm going wrong quite a lot. Because I'm taking so much off, I'm I'm basically thinning it right out, um, and needing to re-weld it again. So I might possibly take that down. Then again, the bumper comes into there, so you'll never. You'll never even see that, you know, once it's once it's done, as I say, I put a little skimmer filler along the inside edge there. Just to smooth all that out. It should should come out alright. So I'll give this a lick of primer because this corner now is completely finished and done. Um next of all we're tackling this one, which I should get done in this video. The sill, however, I think I might tackle in a separate video, just putting the sill on because it's quite a bit involved in that because I've got to try the door off and on a few times just to make sure that I'm 100% happy with the panel gap. Yeah, we'll bash that up with some primer, but uh, definitely over the moon with that. I'm not sure where I recorded up to yesterday, <clears throat> but that's the back corner on. Done. A little skim of filler over that just to get rid of these edges and flatten it out, and that'll be absolutely ideal. I know it's behind the bumper, um, and chance are nobody will ever see it, but I'll know it's done, and I'll know it's done. Solid right, so I'm happy with that. So the next one I want to get done today, I think, is just get this one patch in here. Same process again, I've still got the rest of the arch, so I'll just cut out a piece that's bigger than it, and then I'll fettle it back into the shape of where I need it to be. Um, spot weld, spot weld, spot weld, and then just series of spot welds all the way along there get that done once this is done down to here then it's just a matter of getting the sill done which i'll deal with that um probably in the next video well that was a bit easier than i thought um i've had to draw the line on you can't see it but you can actually feel it there's like a, a crease right at that point which is uh, where did it see if we can get it on which is like that crease there ever so faint i didn't actually notice it until i cut it in 40 so i've cut it a little bit shorter than i would have liked to but we're in line there and that is ready to go so all i'm going to do now is just dress up dress up these edges get them all nice out of clean metal um i'll drill a couple of holes in this lip for the spot welds dress up these edges get it get it tacked on get it welded in nice quick job Tell you what, I'm pretty damn happy with that. It's 
fell away ever so slightly when you get a look along it. Put a little skim of filler in there, that'll be perfect. You'll never even know that's been been patched up, so I'm absolutely out of the moon with that. So that's basically now, we're just down to the sill. That's this side done. With that, we're gonna knock it on the head for the day. Um, so that's the rear arch done, that's another piece of the puzzle in. As I say, we've only just got the sill to go now, so that should hopefully get that done in next week's video. And then this side will be done. I'll, I'll still have to go over it and, and probably give it another coat of primer just to make sure I'm 100% happy with it, because there's a few bits in the primer where I'm a little bit not perfectly happy with it, so I'll, I'll give it another lick over. So as I say, once this side's done, happy as Larry, that's halfway through the floor pan. Get the other side done, then we'll start under the bonnet um, with the, well, it needs a new front panel on and a load of work under the bonnet as well. So. So yeah, we'll get on with that. Um, I know I haven't posted a video in the last couple of weeks. I've been, as I said at the start of the video, I've been busy breaking Harry, um, trying to get rid of all, all his parts and sort of just clear one little job off me, off, me, uh, off me list of jobs to do. I generally find that's the easiest way. If you just tackle them one step at a time, you can wade through them. Whereas if you just take them all, all at once, it's very easy to become overfaced and not really want to, um, not really want to get done with them, you know? So, thanks for watching the video. I'd like to thank all the new subscribers. Um, once again, keeping us motivated, man. That's how we roll. Thank you very much. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you next week.